Okay, <clears throat> Tov. Today's daf is daf Hey Vav in Yevamos. We learn for a four shleima for Yosef Asriel Ben Chaim Michal and Elazar Ben Ruuma. From the bottom of Hey Hamid Beis, right after the Mishnah, the Mishnah had said that a Bas Yisrael who's engaged to a coin or having a baby from a coin but hasn't had the baby yet, or she must have him come, not entitled to eat from yet. Same thing with the Bas Kohen and Maris Yisrael. Okay, she can't eat uh, when she's when she's married to a uh, to a Basco married to Israel should not eat truma yet, even if she's not fully married yet, and anymore. they already took it away. Pardon? If she's married to Israel, she shouldn't eat it anymore. She shouldn't eat truma anymore. Basco yeah. married to Israel doesn't eat truma anymore. Bas Yisrael muresis lelevi, if she's engaged to a levi or having a baby from a levi, get pregnant from a levi, and she shouldn't eat meiser. Chaim Bas levi Israel shouldn't eat meiser anymore. So the question is, what do you mean? Anybody can eat meiser. Meiser is not forbidden. If you're a Kohen and you have truma, you can only give that to your family, your slaves, your children, your wife. You can't give it to somebody else. You can't invite anybody for Shabbos and have some over. But with the truma, with Meiser, it's different. Meiser is not, doesn't have that same Kedusha. Anybody, even Yisrael, can eat truma. So it could eat Meiser. So what's this business about? If a Bas Yisrael marries a lady, Oh, only after she's fully married, she can eat. But if she's only engaged to the lady, then she can't. Or a boss lady married to Israel cannot eat mice. What's going on here? It says, even if Zara, even she's a Zara, meaning she's not a Kohen, not a lady. She's just a regular Yisrael. Zara milu och meiser. Amar nach miya sirisa tshita. Amar shmuel. Amar goes like Rameyer. We'll see this what Rebbe Kiva shita also. Amar Rameyer to Amar. Meiser is an oslo Zara. Not the way we hold. We hold meiser reaching beat by anybody. That's what we do today. What do we do today when we're mafish trumas and meiser? We take a very small portion and give the truma. That's the part we throw out, and the trumas maser, which also goes to the coin because that's considered truma. But ten percent, which is maser, right? Meiser and uh, and the meiser sheni were poda, but the meiser risha. Why don't you say also ten percent shouldn't be able to be eaten according to Rameir, according to Bekivos? We'll see. Can't eat it. No, that's from Meir sheet. The meiser risha also is arm. The tanya top of pevav truma the coin. Truma you know goes to the coin. Meiser risha levi. My servant goes, Levi, give her a bear. Why does he have to tell me my servant is Levi or Truma Lakoin? And we all know that. The Chiddush is he's telling you that my servant can only be eaten by a coin. Certainly you give my servant to the Levi. The Chiddush is it can only be eaten by the Levi. As because we're blessed, the blessed says, Matiro Lakoin. You can even give it to the coin. Matiro is Mashwood that the Tanakam says Rashi. Tanakam is also talking about Mutur Rosser. Not simply you give it. We know Truma goes to the coin. Right? We know that. Uh, my solution goes to the lady. The question is, who can eat it? So he's telling you, says Rashi, just like Truman can only be eaten by the coin, my solution, according to mayor, can only be eaten by the lady. And that's what we mean in our Mishnah, uh, that even a, a, a Bas Yisrael who's engaged to the lady can't eat it yet. Only if she's married to the lady can she eat it. Or a Bas lady can only eat Truma as long as she's not married to Israel. So here's the Chiddush. That's a big Chiddush. For mayor holds it. Blessed one says, Matiel Lekarn. What is this more money? We matir, machlal, the ikaman, the oser. Everybody holds that a coin is also from the tribe of the Levium, right? Moshe was, was from the tribe of the Levium, and Aaron was also his brother. Aaron became the Kohen, but they're all in the same tribe. So what do you mean, Matir the Kohen? Meaning, is there anybody who says, even Rameir, even Rameir who says that uh, a Yisrael cannot eat Masarishon, he wouldn't say that about a Kohen. So what does it mean, man to us, or Ella Amen, no, it's not the you could even give it to Levi or to the Kohen. Because Kohen were also Levium. Kohen were also Levium, right? So they're in that tribe. My term, what's Rameir's reasoning? So we say here, Rameir has a different sheet. And now that we hold, we hold my solution can be eaten by anybody. You have to give it to Levi, but he can he could serve it to you. He can invite you for lunch and you can eat it. But what's Rameir's reasoning why he says that that's not the case? He says, my solution can only be eaten by Levium or Kohanim. What's his reasoning? Omar Racha, Breve, Durava, Mishpe, Durgmora, Rabacha. And the son of Rabbah said, in the name of the tradition, what do you mean tradition? Rashi explains that means as they had a tradition that Rameir said that, all the way back to Rameir. Now the rest is Rashi, Kach Kibam and Rabbah, but Rabbah and Rabbah, everyone accepted it, brought it down from his rabbi, from his teacher. Ad Rameir, Shisham Mishma, until they heard, all the way back to Rameir, that they heard in the name of Rameir. So he didn't just say it, was, he didn't just give his own svara why Rameir said it. He, he heard that Rameir actually gave that reason. What's the reason? Plus it goes like this. He has Maser B'nai Yisrael, Hashem Truma. Maser B'nai Yisrael, which they separate as a separation of Truma. Oh, so you see the word Maser and Truma both in the same Pesach. 
there's a hekish of here, matrum asur, so I'm just like Trumak, we all know cannot be my non koanim, even Levim can't eat that. Af Maisarishan also also is Zorim. So we over here we mean Zorim, meaning Israelim, just like they can't eat Truma, they can't eat Maiser either. Uh Imaisa Ima Truma Chaival Misa. If you eat Truma Bemazid, if a person eats Truma on purpose, a non Kohen eats Truma on purpose, knowing that it's Truma, Chaiv Misa Bede Shemayim. Or and if he does a Bishogi, he has to pay it back and add 25 percent. So we say, look, Truma, according to Rav Meir, Master Rishon can only buy a Levi or a coin, can't be eaten by a by a czar, by Israel. Does he also, is he also Chayv Misa if he eats it, like, like if he eats Truma? Or would he have to have Truma for himself? No. Ume Subo Pichel by Truma, it says, if he eats it on purpose, if, an, if Israel eats Truma on purpose, he will die because he's profaned it. The Yos of Chamish is over and he's got to add 25%, of 25%. Always when it says chamishas, chamishas means a fifth, 20%, but it means we say 20%, it's 25% from the whole amount, not from not net, from the growth. So it's really, it's, it's 20% of the whole thing, which is 25%. 25% addition to what he to what he uh, stole, right, to what he ate. Global, so basically, Meister, where do you die if you ate something on purpose that you weren't supposed to eat? Only on Truman, not on Master. Master, you're not supposed to eat, according to Mayor, if you, are not, if you are a Yisrael, you can't eat it. You can't be invited to a lady's house. You can't eat it. Or you're not chayv mis if you ate it. Or you're not a love, where do you pay the 25%? Only on truma of law on maser. Okay, that's how our mayor learns. Or a bond, what a bond do with that pasuk? You have, we have a hekeshi between maser and truma. So may, why don't you say like your mayor, just like truma cannot, cannot be eaten by Yisrael, so also maser cannot. For a bond, no. Ma truma tovel is af maser rishon, nami tovel. What does tevel? Tevel means produce from which truma's maser haven't been haven't been removed, haven't been separated. So you might think, okay, main thing is you take the truma that goes to the coin. The rest of the stuff, if you if you didn't do it, it's not so bad. It's not tevil anymore. Tevil is forbidden to be eaten also on punishment of Mishme Shemayim. So I want to say, you might know, just like truma, if you didn't take it yet, if you didn't separate it, it's tevil. My solution also tevil. Could a time you rabbiosi omelai? And in other words, that's what point of this first shot in Rabbanan, that's what they do with the Xavier Shava. Uh, the, just like truma, if you didn't take the truma, it's tevel. If you didn't take the maaser, it's also still tevel. And if you hide and you hide misa, you're eating tevel. In other words, even though if you ate maaser rishon that was given to the levi, you as the Israel are also to eat it. You're not hide misa for that. However, if maaser wasn't removed, wasn't taken, or wasn't separated yet from the produce, then it's still tevel. You hide misa. Could a tanya rabbi yosi amri yachol or yechayef ella? I'm at the yon hide misa. All tevel shelo who are mimeno kaliker. If you haven't removed anything, then it's tevel. Who are mimeno truma? But if you remove truma gedol, regular truma. If you had removed truma from, you had separated from below who are mimeno ma'aserishin. You didn't think ma'aserishin. I might think that's not so bad. Or ma'aserishin, but ma'aserishani. But feel ma'aserani, which Rashi says ma'aserani has no kedush at all. Ma'aserani is like stucca. There's no kedusha to it. You know, it's a not special douche. It's got to be eaten by certain people in a certain time. And if you give it to the poor people, it's stuck. There's no kedusha to it. It's a mitzvah, but it's not kedusha. And even Meister Ani, how do I know if I didn't take off the things in Meister, Meister Ani, which you have to give them the third and the six years of the Shemitah cycle? I'm, how do I know that if I haven't removed, I haven't separated those, it's still considered Tevim and I and Tamil Omar, Lo Sucha Lechem Bisharacha. In the Pasuk in the Varim Yudbeis there talks about you can't eat anything yet which hasn't been taken Maiserani. Uh, is you can't eat in your gates this 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 uh, food yet that hasn't been taken. Later on, when it talks about Maiserani, it says they shall eat in their gates. And just like later on in Varim Chafav, it's Maiserani. In other words, it says the first Pasuk in Varim is. You can't eat anything in your gates that hasn't been taken in Meister at all. Which Meister are you speaking about? Achul B'Shorech L'Zavayi is speaking about by the Aniyim. It says in the, in the Vashana Shlishis, it's talking about there when you have to, in the third year, beginning of uh, Kisavo, Ba'achul uh, B'Shorech L'Zavayi, in, in the third year, in the sixth year, when the Ani, when you eat it, they will eat it in the gates. So they're speaking about Meister Ani. So L'Zavayi B'Shorech is also speaking about Meister Ani. Ma'asherech Amr La Meister Ani, Ma'asherech Amr La Meister Ani. And here it says, you're not able to eat it unless you've already taken everything off. You've separated Truma, you've separated uh, Maiser Risha, and Maiser Risha, you have to take uh, also Truma's Maiser, and Maiser Shani if it's the uh, first, second, fourth, or fifth years, and Maiser Ani if it's the third and the sixth years. Uh, so he says, that, so the Rabbanan say, that's what that they're bringing down like, like Rabbi Yossi, that 
the the, the hekish between meiser and truma is to tell me that if you haven't removed meis, just like if you haven't taken away truma, it's still considered table. If you haven't taken away, if you haven't separated all the meisers, that's also considered table. The may also if you says that based on that pasuk of sucha lechol b'sharecha have a middle, it's a lav. Okay, it's a lav if you, if you didn't do it. Have a misa lo, but not misa kamashma on misa. Guy gets master ben Israel shetrum just like truma you have misa on if you. Ate truma without having. If you ate the food with, before it was removed, tra- truma was removed from it because it's still tevel. The same thing with maser. So Lo Sucha tells me you can't eat it. That's a lav. That the 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 hekish tells me you chayv misa for that too. That's what the rabbana do. Not to say that maser can only be eaten by a levi or a kohen and not a yisrael based on that pasuk like a mayor, but rather maser and truma is or or juxtaposed or compared to teach me. That just like if you haven't taken away truma's tevel, if you haven't take, if you haven't separated the mice, it's also tevel. This is going to some say that mice reason to tell me Rabbi Yossi Nafti. You don't need the hekish for telling me that it's tevel comparing truma and mice from the from the pasuk of the kias maser ben Yisrael Asher Yimitzum Hashem. That's based on Rabbi Yossi's rush. We have the rush of losuchol b'shorecha, but you might say imai he but based on the pasuk it's only for the lav losuchol b'shorecha avam misa lo kamash mulan. That's telling me misa here also. In other words, that I know that, that Tevel is all, it's still considered Tevel based on Rabbi Yossi. How do I know Chayim Misa based on the first pasuk? Just a slight variation, but it's, we see here the machlok between the Rabbanan and, and Rameir. So Rameir holds that Master can only be eaten by a Levi or a Levi's family, right? Or a Kohen, but not a Yisrael. As opposed to the way the general, or the majority opinion is, is that Master can be, it has to be given to the Levi, but can be eaten by any Mayu comes to Rameir. Something more says now, we're halfway down on page of Amaral. Mayu come to Kameir. Now that we said our mission goes to Kameir, aim a safer. What does the safer say? Bas Levi mu'reses l'koin. Bas Levi who's engaged to a coin. Or Bas Koin l'Levi. You can't eat true more miser. Why not? Hocha miser osiha. Mela, if you tell me a Bas Yisrael who's engaged to a Levi, and she can't eat miser yet, even though we know all Yisrael can eat miser. Oh, the girls are Kameir. Merol's only Levium where their families can eat miser. But here, where it's a bas levi engaged to a coin or bas coin to a levi, lo socho lo you can't eat uh, truma. Okay, I understand truma you can't eat. The bas levi is the only engaged to the coin can't eat truma, as we said, because maybe she'll give it to her family. Truma, I understand, but now why can't she eat miser? Here she's a bas levi. Her husband's a coin. Why can't she eat miser? Ocho miser osiko. Amar sheish is mayin ochel zikani ena nasenas rishus litrom. It means that she's not yet the lady of the house. She's not, she's not able to give permission to the servants or to somebody to take truma in the house. Doesn't mean she can't eat it. Of course she can eat it. She's a bas levi. Bas levi can eat truma, even according to her mayor. But it means that she can't give rishus le trum. She's married, then she can. She's not the she's not the levi. Her husband's the levi or the kohen. Uh, then she could. She can take her husband's up. By the time you learn about any place, you and your family. In other words, talking about the my serisham, you and your family in a bechavatechem. Leave it on the subas shul. She's married. If a Yisraelis is married to a lady, she's also she's now the lady of the house. She could also give permission to the servants to take truma to take to take truma, uh, just like uh, like the husband herself. In other words, to take the truma smiser from the miser that she's given. She can also take a presumably that's truma smiser. Based on correct, right, right. Based on that, right. It's just l'shuka litra miser show. Shall uh, orus or the hard man a trumas meiser because she's meiser is what they're given. What do they? Have, what does a lady do with this meiser? First thing is he has to give a tenth of the meiser, which is called trumas meiser to the coin. So not only is her husband obligated and authorized to do it, but if she's married to him, she's also authorized because it says atom of base. Right? Atom rishus true Maybe so. Is that really what it means? Maybe it only means just she's entitled to eat it when she's married to him. Um, right, maybe that that's what it means that she's only entitled to eat once she's married to him because he said, you eat it. Maybe she's only eat it, allowed to eat according to Levi, according to her mayor, she's only allowed to eat it once she's married to him. Amrit, Truma Chamura, Truma, which is more stringent than Master, because as we said, you don't get even even if you hold like her mayor, you don't get um, Misa for eating Master if you're Israel. So Truma is more stringent, Ochelis that she can eat. So Meiser Akalo Koshkin, when she's married to him, certainly she could. So if she's married, if she's married to a Kohen, she can eat Truma. So certainly she's married to a Levi, she can eat Maser. Ella Limanal said, for it's teaching me in Subas the Shoshan says, she's authorized to take to take the Truma's Meiser and give it to the Kohen. It's, she has the same authority as her husband now that she's married to him. That's one shot in, 
in, and that's what we mean by Bas Levi Moreses Lakoin, that she can't eat the truma, she, she can't eat, uh, uh, she can't eat Maser. Of course she can eat Maser. She can eat Maser because she's a Bas Levi, even if she's not married yet to the Kohen. She can eat Maser for sure. But it means that she's, as, as, as she's only engaged to the Levi, she's not authorized yet to give Tumas Maser from her husband. As an, as an Arusa, she can't uh, take Tumas Maser from her husband, the Arusa's Maser. She can't give Tumas Maser. Another question is, this is what it means. When, it's, when a Mishnah says that a boss lady who's engaged to the Kohen, right, that she's lo socha, lo betrumah, lo master, doesn't mean she can't eat it. She can eat it. It means that you don't give her own portion in the granary. In the granary, when they give away the tumas and maestras to the Kohen and the Levim who show up there, so you don't give to the, as a, if she's only engaged to the lady, she's not entitled to get a share. So what's the reason why she can't get a share? After all, she's, uh, she technically, she can eat it. The answer, one of the answer is, is because she shouldn't go to the granny because women weren't authorized to go themselves because of Yichud, because they might be alone there with a man. There might be one man giving the uh, trumas, um, trumas or Meiser, and she's alone there, so they may say her women shouldn't go there because of Yichud. She shouldn't uh, be secluded with a man. Elamanda Mishim Grusha, if the reason is because maybe she's been divorced. So what if she's divorced? Grusha Bas Levi Milocha Meiser. So what? We're talking about a Bas Levi here who's engaged to the Kohen. So you say, oh, doesn't mean she can't eat Maser. Of course she can eat Maser. She can eat Maser her whole life. She's a boss lady, right? Unless she's married to Israel, according to her mayor. But, uh, but uh, she can certainly eat Maser now. What are you concerned that she's maybe divorced? The reason why you don't give Truma to, let's say, to a, to a, to a, a woman who's married to a coin, or, uh, you don't give Truma, because maybe she got divorced from the guy, right? Maybe she's not a boss But here she's a boss lady. Can't she eat Maser? Rashi says it's going on the Gemara and Simba's there talking about that. There it talks about a Grusha Bas Kohen. If she's about, she could also eat Truma. Let's say a Bas Kohen is married to a Kohen. So she can eat Truma either way, either because of her husband, or if she's divorced, she can eat because of her father, if there's no, if there's no children. So why can't she eat Truma then? El Exam Shim Grusha Bas Kohen made Exam Zera that we don't give Truma to a Kohen, Truma or Meister to a, to a woman married to a Kohen or married to a Levi because maybe they're divorced. So what if they're divorced? If she's a Bas Kohen, she can anyway eat Truma. If she's a Bas Levi, she can anyway get, get, uh, get Masa. But the point is, it's there because maybe she's because of a Basis role in general, we don't go check into the lineage that carefully. And therefore, we don't give the wives of Kohanim Truma or the wives of Levium Maser. We don't do that. Uh, we don't do that in general because a Grusha Basis role is not entitled, wouldn't be able to eat it. So they made it there. You don't do that. So why do you talk about Muressa? You say if she's engaged to the Levi, you don't give her Truma or Maser. If the, if the Bas Levi is engaged to the Kohen, you don't give her Truma or Maser. Okay, Truma, we understand. Masa, we said, why? Because we're talking about in the granary, you don't give her. So even if she's married to the lady, you don't give. You don't give a woman alone, unless she's coming with her husband, you don't give a woman alone food in the granary. One reason is a yichud, or the reason is because maybe she's been divorced. So if she's the, so why not? So why do we say you don't give her Truma in the granary if she's engaged? Even if she's married to him, you don't give it. It's an echanami. Echanami says, Answer that economy, right? Even married also, but I need Ration Moreses, Tanaami Safe Message. The Rations talk about uh, Moreses by Achila Mamish. There we talk about, let's say, if she's engaged to a Kohen uh, or a Bas Kohen engaged to a Yisrael or a Levi, uh, Linian Truma, or Bas Levi Yisrael, Linian Maser, that she loses it there. They were talking about only engaged the Pasala Erusin. As soon as she's engaged, as soon as the Bas Levi is engaged to Israel, she can't eat uh, Maser anymore. And a Baskon who's engaged to Israel can't eat anymore. They were talking about being engaged. Also, a Bas Israel engaged to a coin, or a Levi, uh, or a Bas Levi engaged to a coin that they don't eat Truma yet. So they were talking about Arison because once they're married, they could eat Truma. So therefore, we, they were, they were, therefore we mentioned uh, Arison in the Sefer also. But the truth is, according to this shot, uh, that even if she was married, to the coin, we don't give her master at the granary. If you learn the reason is the granary. If the pshat is, if the pshat is because the first, previous pshat, and when we say low, uh, low, low, she can't eat meiser means she can't authorize the, her household to give trumas meiser. Then it's we're only talking about a, an engaged wor- girl in Arusa, not a married girl. Yeah. This, this, this imperative is short Yes, it does. <laughs> Yes, it does. It encourages, uh, yeah. from her point of view, yeah. the husband's point of view, he might want, not want to do it yet. He doesn't want to give her food yet. Who knows? In general, short Arisons are good ideas.
is mana. Is that too? <laughs> not good to you know long garrison and say it causes problems. Tanarabana. Truma of the coin. Umay Sarishan Lady. Divrate Rabbi Kiva. So Rabbi Kiva really says the same thing as the top line on this page, which is Rameyer Shita. Truma goes to the uh, to the coin. And as we know, no, no chiddush in that, but only he could eat it. Just like only the coin could eat the truma, only the levi can eat maserish and levi or kohanim, right? But not Yisrael, and maserish and levi. Mm-hmm. Rabbi Kiva, so Rabbi Kiva basically goes like Rameyer. Again, their individual sheet does not sound like the general accepted Yorub. Lozim and Azariah Yomer. Lozim and Azariah, who was a coin himself, he was a 10th generation from Ezra. He was a coin himself. He said, la coin. <laughs> a little no gambit over there, isn't it, huh? But that's that's okay. He said it, uh, you know, not because of that reason. He says, well, as as I says, no, it goes to the coin. This is more of the same kash we had before. The coin below Levi, only the coin, not Levi. Aim off the coin. So he says, look, uh, I'm a coin. I'm also a Levi. I'm on the tribe of Levi. So as as I says, no, you give it not only to the coin, not only to the Levi, the coin could also get it. Aim off the coin. My time at Rabbi Kiva. What's Rabbi Kiva's reasoning? So we already said Rameyer's reasoning is based on the Pasuk Kiyas Masim and Esau Shemit to the Pasuk that uh, he brought down that what? The uh, Rav Achabrei Rav uh, brought down in the name of Rav Meir, uh, Rebbe to Rebbe, Rebbe to Talmud, Talmud. That's what Rav Meir said, Kiss Master. We have a hackish between Truma and Master, just like Truma can only be by the coin. So Master can only be by the lady. But Rav Kiva has a different Pusik. Pusik says in Bamid Bergiv, El Halavim to Dalbev, Amar It says over there about the about the uh, Meiser Rishon, and they have to give uh, Truma's Meiser from there. Talks about the Meiser Rishon. El Halavim to Dalbev. Only Levium. So only Levium, nobody else. And that's his reasoning why only Levium can eat it and not Yisraelim. Presumably he's explaining that's what he's 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 explaining more. Rabbi Kiva says, Rabbi Kiva says that um, the Levium get it. In other words, the same thing with Rameir. Rameir also said it. He said, My Sarish and Levi, they mean they both mean to say that it can only be eaten by a Levi or a Kohen. But Rabbi Loz, just like um, Rabbi Loz of Anazari argued with the mayor, he said, Matiro the Kohen, Machalim Magim Vasar Leima, no, it's not for Kohen. That's what Rabbi Loz of Anazari is saying here, too. Rabbi Loz of Anazari argued with the mayor before and argued with the Kibi, or Rabbi Loz of Anazari is saying the same sheet. Or Rabbi Loz of Anazari says, no, give it to the Kohen also. He, he, he's, saying, he's saying that you can even give it to the Kohen. He's not really discussing the issue of can a Yisrael eat it or not? Can a Yisrael eat it or not? Rabbi says that. Rabbi and Rabbi Kiva say, only a Levi or a coin could eat trum, could eat Maser, and Israel cannot. Rabbi Yisrael is saying, you can even give it to the coin. Uh, nobody says you can't eat the coin. He says, it means Matiro af the coin. No, it's not the coin. Come on, come on, time it. What's his reasoning? We'll see here. What's his reasoning? You can give it even to the coin. You don't have to give it to the Levi. Whatever you say about can a Yisrael eat it, but you can give it even to the coin. Okay. So Rabbi Kiva's reasoning because it says give it to Levi. The Edith, what about? That's where Amakoma's 24 places in the 24 Sifrei Tanakh, Nikra Koyam Levium. The Koyam were called Levium. They are called Levium. Here's one of them. Hakonam Levium Benet Tzadok. Tzadok was a coin. Yet his sons were called Levium. Hakonam Levium. So you see the Koyam were also called Levium. So when the Pusik says you have to give you have to give my solution to the Levium, Koyam were also included in that. So so Rebbe Lez is saying that you can give your Maiserishan either to the Israel, either to the Levi or to the coin. Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Kiva who disagrees and says only give it to the Levi. You can't say that over here, that, that over here, when it says Levim, it means even come. The Sivan says, and he should eat it. The Pasa goes on there, and let it eat it anywhere. Anybody who can eat anywhere anywhere he wants. Yats a coin, chain yachal ochla be basic bars. Coin can't eat basic bars. A coin can't go into the basic bars. A coin is limited, can't eat it anywhere in the world. A, a levy can eat my serishon anywhere in the world. A levy is not prohibited from becoming tamay, and he can go into the basic forest. And the master can become tamay, so he can eat in basic forest. So it says vachalam so chamakum. That excludes kohen, and that's what Rabbi Kiva will say. In other words, again, we're not discussing here so much the difference. Can a Yisrael eat maser? Rabbi Kiva Romeo says he can't. Rabbi Zimrazai is not uh, pitching in on that. He's just saying, can you give it to the kohen as well as to the levy? Rabbi Zimrazai says yes. Rabbi Kiva says no. It's only for the Levium, not for the Quran. The Edoch, what, what does he do with that Pusik? He says, How can Rabbi Lazar say give it to the coin? The coin can't eat it in the basic forest. But call it the boy, the little boy, Chome. It means he can eat it, meaning he doesn't have to eat it inside the walls of the temple or the walls of Yerushalayim, the little boy, Chome. 
And also, if he eats it while he's tummy, he's not going to get malchus. You eat truma while you're tummy, get it, that's prohibited. But if you eat, eat nicer when when you, while you're tummy, you're not going to be prohibited. Okay, so that's the machlokas here. Blazman Azari says you could even give it to the coin. He was a coin. And Rabbi Kiva and Rameir says you only give it to the lady. Hayigan says a story. There was a garden. He took Maiserishan from there. Maiserishan. Not only truma, he took Maiserishan from there. Azor Bekiva, listen to this, Rabbi Kiva's story, strange story, Azor Bekiva, Kiva went, Ahadre Lepisko Bekevri, he transferred the door of the garden, the opening, the gate, so that it faced the basic forest, that, which limited Rabbi Lezor and Zayas, Rabbi Lezor wasn't able to get his maestration from there. Now, of course, maestration has to be given to you by somebody else, but, you know, by the, by the owner, whether you're talking about a grain, it has to be given by the owner, but whatever, the people assigned it there and gave it to them, he, he was, in other words, Rabbi Kiva went and did an action which limited Rabbi Lezer or prohibited effectively, that he couldn't get the uh, Maiserishan from that garden anymore. Omar, so Rabbi Lezer was taken aback by that. Omar, Akiva Betamilo, Akiva with his uh, bag. Remember, Akiva was a shepherd. Remember, he was the shepherd of Kalba Sevua. Then he got married his daughter and all that, the whole story. He says, oh, he's with his bag. I, I'm going to live. I have to live. What do we mean by that? We're going to see the... This story is, is incomplete at this point. Akiva Tamil is like making fun of him. He's got his uh, little bag there where he keeps his stuff, his bread, and he's hanging on his shoulder. You know, he's making fun of Rabbi Kiva. Rabbi Kiva, oh, Rabbi Kiva, he's a shepherd, and I'm going to live nicely. So what does that mean, I'm going to live nicely? He took, he took, he took away Rabbi Lezben Azari's ability to get this master because Rabbi Lezben Azari was a Kohen, and this garden from which Rabbi Lezben Azari took master was now impossible to get to without going through the basic forest. So he had a problem over here. Now, what's the story? We don't, we don't yet understand the whole story. Let's, let's wait because it's, it's a strange story. Let's go on though. Itmar, may not consul Levium Bamasar. Why were the Levium fine and the mice was taken away? We're not dealing with the issue over here before of why Kohanim are, we said before, Kohanim was an Isaiah, it says that Kohanim are also called Levium, and therefore they're entitled to eat, uh, they're entitled to get the Meiser also. You can give your Meiser either to a Levi or a Kohen, because the Kohen is also called a Levi. What about the Chatham Sobcham That just means that he's not limited. He doesn't have to eat it in Yerushalayim. He can eat it anywhere. Okay, so that's the issue. But over here, we're talking about the Knast that later on, not at the time of the Tanakh, later on, the rabbis took away the Levi, from the Levium Meiser, and they said, give it to the Kohen now. No more Meiser Rishon to the to Levi. Why? So Pliga Rabbi Yonason and Vesavia. Rabbi Yonason and Vesavia disagreed about the reason. Chadam Ezra, because the Levim didn't come up in the time of Ezra. Kornim did, Levim did not. And therefore, Ezra fined them and said, okay, you're not going to get the Meiser anymore. The Chadam are Kadeshis Kornim Allah, they made to Muslim. When Kornim are Tome, and they can't eat Truma, and remember, they were they served in the base of English. They didn't have their own fields, etc. So if they couldn't eat truma, what are they going to eat when they're tummy? They can eat maser. So the reason it was given it was given to the Kohanim because uh, they would have some keep while they were when they were tummy. I understand that you say that if they were fine for not coming up to Eretz Yisrael in the time of Ezra, so that's why it was taken away from the Levium and giving it and given it to the Kohanim. That's why. They find the Levim. If the reason is, is that the Kohen would have what to eat when they're tummy, so Mishim Kohen can say, why is that a reason to find? Because you need to eat something, I should be fine. Why were the Levim fine? If you say the Levim were fine because they didn't come up in the days of Ezra, okay, that's why it was taken away from them and given to the Kohen who did come up. But if the reason is so that the Kohen should have what to eat, fine, that's the reason for the Rosh Hashanah should have what to eat. So give them some stucca. Why were the Levim fined and taken, and it taken away from them? Everybody agrees that the Levium were fined and the Maaser was taken away from them because they didn't come up in the days of Ezra. What's the Machlok? When they, when they find the Levium and they took it away because they didn't come up on Aliyah, who did Ezra give it to? Gave it to the poor. Gave it to the poor, not to the Kohanim. The other one holds no. Kohanim on their tummy are also like anim because they have no nati. Even a wealthy person who's on the road doesn't have nati. It's considered like an ani. Well, a kohen who has no can't, when he's when he's tummy, he has no other food. He can't eat the truma which he was which he was given. So therefore, he needs. He's also considered like poor and therefore given to them. So that's the shaila. Oh, that's that's what the machlokus is as to why the eventually later on, not at the time of Tanakh, later on, Ezra took away the. I mean, not the time of the psukim, but rather not the time of the psukim.
in, in, in the Vium, but later on Ezra took it away from the uh, Levium because they were fine. Who did he give it to? Some say it was given to the poor. Some say it was given to the Kohanim because they're also considered poor. So the Mars like this. Special mandomer kanasa laniyam mishemachi had rebbe kiva piska lebe kivri. I understand why. Okay, it was given to the niyam. So Elazar, what's Rebbe Elazar Mazari doing? Eating the eating the mice rish. It's supposed to be by the poor. Rebbe Elazar Mazari wasn't poor. So if you say the reason is that what that the reason he took it away is because later now we're going to go back to that story. Why did Rabbi Kiva, so to speak, st- uh, uh, close the garden to Rabbi Lazar ben Azaria? Because he says, what's Rabbi Lazar? just taking mice over there. It's supposed to be given to the poor. Elamandam or the Kohanim. If it was given to Kohanim, a mai had the Kisvah of Kippur. Why did he close the door? Kohanim were allowed to eat it. Why did Rabbi Kiva prevent Rabbi Lazar ben Azaria from taking the master? He says, this is what he meant. E the cost is if you're coming because of the knas taken from VM. Islacha. Okay, then you understand. I, the push of is, okay, then you're entitled. Because it's but if you're if you're coming because you hold that originally, like we said before, like in the machlokis between Rikim and Zaria, originally Kohanim were entitled to get Meiser just like Levim, right? Elo Levim to Dabber Vamrel Levim Shtoi, and he also no, Levim are also Kohanim are also called Levim. If you're coming because of the Knas, okay, then I understand that. But if you're coming because of the Chaluka, less I because I hold not like you that you're not Levim or Kohanim are not entitled to get Meiserish. They can eat my serishan, even presume right, they can eat my serishan, even according to Romeo and Rabbi Kiva, they can eat my serishan if they're a guest in a lady's house, but they're not given the my serishan. So he says, so Rabbi Kiva's telling him, listen, if you're coming because of the poor, okay, that I understand. But if you're coming because of that you're entitled to it, but like you held that the Kohanim were originally entitled to the my just like me, then less the because I don't hold like you. Okay, so before we get to the history of, of this, but the story still lacks a little bit. Rabbi Masha asks, what's going on over here? So, like, Rabbi Kiva wasn't sure what, what Rabbi Lezer Benazari's das was when he was eating it. If you're coming because you're poor, then you're entitled to it. If you're coming because you think you're entitled to it originally, then you're not entitled to it. Okay, but he, he didn't ask him and then say, what's your reasoning? He just closed it off. If he's entitled because if he's poor and, and after the Xera, so then maybe, maybe that was why Rabbi Lezer Benazari came here. The answer is like this. This is this what Marshall explains like this, and that's what I see. If you're coming because of the knas, meaning that it was taken away from the Levian, and now it's given to the poor, you're not poor. Islacha, not that Islacha means that you're entitled to it now because like the other Aniyim, you were a wealthy man with Lazar ben He was a very wealthy man. He was a 10 generation from Ezra. They were, they were wealthy. Uh, if you're coming because of the poor, then Islacha, you already have money at home. You have plenty of food. You're not entitled to it. And if you come to Luka, and if you come to Luka, you're not talking. That's why Rabbi Kiva locked the door on him, so to speak. He put the door facing the uh, facing basic forest. He says, "You're not entitled to it. Whatever your reasoning is, if you hold that you're entitled to it because Cohen were originally entitled to it, like Levium, no, I disagree with you about that. Only Levium get it. If you're saying now, oh, after the uh, fine that it was taken away from Levium and given to the given who was given it to, to the poor. You're not poor, sir. Therefore, you're not entitled to it. That's a better shot in understanding the story. How do we know that the Levim did not come up in the times of Ezra? We said yes. We said yesterday, we quoted the Mishnah in Asar Yuxin that all kinds of the dregs of society came up with them. Not only from Levim, Yisraelim, Mamzerim, Nassim, Mamzerim, remember, 10 different kinds of lineages, right, came up with uh, with Ezra. And the Levim did not. said, Pastor Gis, by Kamsin, Lanar, I, I gathered, uh, Ezra said, I gathered them at the, to the river, I bought Al Ava. I came to that place, that, that the river there, the Nachshem Yam Mishlosha, and we camped there for three days. Vavina Baum, and I viewed them, and, and, and I checked the people and the Kohanim, and they Levi Lomotsasisham. Didn't find any Levium there, so they didn't come up. Amr of Chista, Betrilo, Yamamidim Shotum, Elam Levium. Originally, the officers, the policemen were only signed from Levium Shemma, but Shotum Halavium with Techem. Achshav now, Bismanazah, Ein Avinim Shotim Elam Yisrael, only from the general population of the Yisraelim, which are the majority, Shnemar, Bishotim Harabim Brashechim. And the many, the, the Shotim of the many, the many are the regular Yisrael. What does Achshav mean? What is what? Achshav. Achshav, Achshav meaning in, in, I guess, in their time later on. You know, originally it was something. Yeah, because this Pasik, because this Pasik is, um, is, is probably in time of the mission, right, right. Because it's supposed to say, he says, Pasuk Jelo Nimtza B'Tanach. You see that? B'Shotim HaRabba B'Rashechem. It's not found in Tanach, so maybe it's from a later source, right? Because Dibra Yom is also late, right? B'Shotim HaRabba this is a later source. Now we're going to see something. I'm going to give you a general uh, uh, um, 
introduction to the Mishnah, we've learned that who can eat truma? Let's talk about truma first. We, you know, the truth is the same as from Maser, truma to a coin, Maser for a lady, according to a may or a bekiva, can only eat by them. Let's deal with truma. Truma is simpler. Who can eat truma? A coin, his whole family. Okay. A bas coin, she can all see it as long as she's not married to a non coin. She's married to Israel now. If she's married, let's say Israel, Israelis, a Israel can't eat truma. She's married to the coin. She had a child from the coin. And the coin dies, but she has the child from the coin. She's entitled to eat truma because of the child, right? And the same thing, uh, if you hold like Rame and Rabkiva that only a lady can eat, if Sabas is all married to a lady and she has a child from the lady, she can eat truma, she can eat masa because of the lady. Right. Okay. So here's here's a, a little bit of a complicated case, but if we start with that, we understand what's going on. Bas Yisrael, she nisses the coin. Bas Yisrael married to a coin, talk about truma. Nisses. Now we're talking talk about engaged. She's married to the coin. Once she's married to the coin, she can eat truma because of the coin. Mace, Veloy, Man, let's say the coin died, but she had a son. She has a son as a coin. She's entitled to each one because of the son, right? Right? Best Veloy, Man, talk about truma. Nissus, the lady. Now, even though she has a son who's a coin, she got married to a lady. By being married to a lady, that prevents her from eating truma now because she's married to a lady. She's gone down a step now. Okay? She got married. So, talk, but she can eat Maser because of the lady, but she can't eat truma. Mace, Veloy, Man, Now he dies, the lady dies too. And she has a son. Who does she have now? A son who's a coin, a son who's a lady. So Tochma, she can eat miser because of the son who's a lady, right? Because the son who has a lady, she's not to eat miser. This, of course, is according to Ramey and Rebekiva world that only a lady or his family can eat, can eat miser. Now, Mrs. Lee Israel, she's gone down a step. She's gone down a step. She killed the coin. She killed the, the uh, lady. Now she's gone down a step. She's married to Israel. Well, she can't eat. Even though she has a son who's a coin and another son who's a lady, but she's married to the Israel, that overpowers. Mace, now let's say the Israel died. So who does she have left? She has a son who's a lady and son who's a coin. She could still eat now my sir because of the son who's a lady. Mace, the loy men have been. Wait a minute. Ah, if she has a son now from the Israel after he died. So now what happens? She's killed three husbands, a coin, lady, and the Israel. She has a son from each one of them. The son who's a Yisrael, though, prevents her from eating truma or maser, even though she was once married to a bas, to a coin or a lady, but she has a son who's a Yisrael. So, let's say her son, the third son, dies now. So, what does she have left? A, a, a coin and a, Yisrael, and a lady son. Now she can eat truma, tochel maser. She can maser because the son is a lady. Let's say done, her son who's a lady died, and all she has left now is the son who's a coin. Now she can go back and eat truma again. Understand? Like a bas coin, as if she's a bas coin, she can go back and eat truma at her father's house. Here, this woman who has a who has a son who's a coin, that's all she has. She can eat truma. Mace Panami coin. Let's say her son, this now the son died, everybody's dead except for her. Because why is she? She's a bas Israel. Now she has nothing, nothing, nothing time to go to that. That's all a bas Israel who is married to these guys. What about bas coin? She has a bas coin married to Israel. <coughs> can no longer eat truma. Let's say he died. She's the boss coin, but if she has a son who's Israel, she can't eat truma because she has a son in Israel. And this is the lady. Now she marries the lady. She's going, she's what? She's now going up a step. She was married before to Israel. Now she's married to a lady. She can eat miser. So she can eat miser because of the son who's a lady. This is the coin. Now she goes up a step and marries a coin. Now she can eat truma. She can eat truma because of the son who's a coin. Mace from the coin. Now we're going back. Now again, the boss coin. Let's say the son of the coin dies. Lo tochlo, lo tochlo. She can't eat truma anymore. She could still eat maser because she has a son who's a lady. Mace from if her son who's a lady dies, lo tochlo maser. She can't eat maser. Mace from the Israel. Now again, she is now without. She's childless and husbandless. Chazer says she can eat. She can now eat truma again. Why? Because she's a boss coin. She goes back to her father's house. Chazun emar. This is what the Pasuk says, the Shavuot base of the Kinnurea. She now returns to her father's house, Kinnurea. Remember before we had Kinnurea uh, excluding a pregnant woman, right? If she's pregnant, she can't, right? Kinnurea, meaning before she was married, she goes back to her father's house and she can eat from again. Milechem avia tocho. Meis benam milevi tocho betruma, right? So we said in the first part of the Mishnah, we're talking about Abbas Yisrael, and it said when her, when her son from a levi dies, she can eat truma. Why? To hadra achla mishum bena. Because she can eat because of her son who's a coin. Where do we get this from? Where do we get this idea that not only a boss coin goes back, but that a, that a woman who's a boss Israel 
who lost her truma because she was married to a levy or had a son who's a levy. And now when the son's levy, she can go back and eat. She can go back and eat because of her son, just like a Bas Cohen could go back and eat in her father's house once or so. Where do we get this from? That where do we get this idea that having a son who's a Cohen, even though she couldn't eat for a while while she was married to a Levi or Yisrael, but having a son of Cohen entitles her to eat Truma again, like as if she was a Bas Cohen going back to her father's house. Amravava, Amrav, Bas Ubas, because the Pasuk says Bas Cohen, Kisia Leish Zor, right? Bas Cohen, oh Bas Cohen, Kisia Almanagusha, rather, Kisia Almanagusha. She's, in other words, she's if she if she was married to a Yisrael and now she's divorced or widowed from, she can go back in her father's house. The Ubas teaches me not only a Bas Cohen, but even a Bas Yisrael who has a son who's a Cohen can also go back and eat from again. It says more, come on, Rabbi Kiva Darsh It's like Rabbi Kiva Darsh the Bav, only according to him, because you're dashing the Bav of Ubas. No, I feel term of a colleague of We had support before. Uh, why? Because it says, I feel I feel term of a Kula Ubas Kroyisei, the whole word Ubas is extra. Why? Because we're talking anyway about Ubas Kohen. Why did I have to mention again Ubas Kohen? Because it says, it says before Ubas Kohen Kisi Ali Zar, and then it says Ubas Kohen Kisi Al Managush. We know we're speaking about Ubas Kohen. The previous class we were speaking about, let it just say, but Kisi Al Managush. So the whole word Ubas is extra to teach me this Russia. Tan Rabbanan, she Chazeras, when she goes back and eats at her father's house, we're going on the Ubas Kohen. Ubas Kohen, who is married to a Yisrael, let's say, can no longer eat Truma. Now, let's say her husband dies and there's no children. She goes back. She, when she goes back and eats Truma in her father's house again, she's a Baston, she's not entitled to Chazamashok, which are Kodshim, that she can eat in her father's house, that she's not entitled to, based on the Pasik, right? Because it says, we're going to see the Pasik, he, the Truma's law, he, as, as, uh, uh, the Truma's, the Truma's, the Truma, he, the Truma's Kodshim, he, the Truma's Kodshim, again, that's what Amram Christ, Amram Ravina, my quote, Pasik says, he, the Truma's Kodshim, Truma's Kodshim. Why, why don't you just say Kachim? You didn't need any Kachim. Truma's Kachim telling the more men are lo sochal. If we're just talking about Trum, right? It, it, it says, it says she can eat, she can go back, the uh, Lechem Avia Tochel, she can go back and eat Lechem Avia, which means Truma. And this would be Truma's Kachim, lo sochal, but more men are the parts that are separated from the Kachim, which is the Chaz of Shok, which goes to the Kohen, she can't eat anymore. So a special pasta teach me she can go back, a Bas Kohen who was married to Israel, and now he dies, no children, she can go back and eat Truma in her father's house, but not. Not chaz v'shok. Not when Amar Abu Bab says me lechem, but local lechem. Some of the some of the food lechem here means food. Doesn't mean just bread. We'll see. It, it, this Russian means that it brings out a pasuk and Tanakh also dal sheitzer malchava lechem raf. He has a lot of food. Doesn't mean just bread. So he says me lechem. Some of the food of her father's house, meaning truma she can eat, but she can't eat the chaz v'shok. Local lechem. Probably chaz v'shok. The food and the chaz v'shok, the breast and and the thigh uh, of the shlom that that the coin gets that she can't eat. Maybe it means this, that when she goes back, she, her father can't break her in a darm anymore. Remember, a father can break a, a daughter's nether up until the age of, uh, of 12 and a half, or a husband can. So maybe over here is saying, once she goes back, her father's house can't break her I'm rubber that. We don't need to rush him for that. I don't need to, I don't need to say that he was in Russia, but a farce of darm, he could go back. We, we know already you can't. We already had that Tan Rebbe Shmuel. It says, And that of she, she's not married to it. And, she, and Alman Agusha makes a netter. It's established. She, nobody, her, she doesn't have a husband to break it. Not Tan Malomer. What's the to that? Who could break it a dar normally? A father or, or, a, or a husband? She doesn't have either one. Ella, Reishim also, maybe telling this case, Reishim also, the father sent, uh, gave her over to the Shluchim of the Baal to get married. Oh, Shemasu Shluchim of the Shluchim of Baal, or the Shluchim of Sad. It's not normally done that way anymore, but, you know, he could marry her off by a Shluch. When Samuel and the husband divorced her or widow, or, 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 or he died, but they're on the way. Hechani Korva, Beis Avia Shazuo, Beis Baal Shu. What is she from? Is she go back to her father's house, or is she considered from her husband? Elomelecha, once she's left the father's house, even for a minute, you can't break it anymore. In other words, you can't ever go back. If the, if the husband divorced her or, or he died, uh, the, the chiddush of the pasuk is, what's the chiddush in that? It means to say, once the father gave up her shus and gave her over to me for marriage, handed her over for marriage to the husband, that's it, it's finished. So we already know that he can't break the dharma anymore. So therefore, you can't say, that's the drush. Safra Omar, me lechem of yetocham lechem lo basar. Oh, he talked to Darshan's lechem. This is lechem of yetocham. Truma is what? Truma is from the grains or oil or wine. Okay, that's lechem, not, not meat. 
Lechem means dafka ben, lechem below basra. How do I know she can only go back and eat truma from her father's house? Again, a baston who's married to Israel is going, and now that she and her husband dies with divorce and there's no children, she can go back and eat uh, truma, but not chaz b'shok. Chaz b'shok are parts of the animal, of the carbon, that's meat, as opposed to uh, truma, which is lechem. So this is lechem avina, lechem below basra. It doesn't actually mean lechem, but lechem avina below basra. Papa Amar, means lechem avia, lechem of her father. Truma belongs to the Kohen. When you give Truma to the Kohen, what does that mean? It means it's his, it's, he can put it in his bank account, so to speak, it's his. If he wants Mekadosh Nisha, the proof of anything in halacha that you own something is, can you Mekadosh Nisha with it? Because, you know, they always say at the wedding, did you pay for this yourself? Is it yours? Is it worth a pruta? You can only Mekadosh Nisha if you give her something that belongs to you. You can't give her something that your father bought and didn't give it to you. It has to belong to you. So truma belongs to you. The chaz v'shok, the chaz the chaz v'shok, the Kohen's eating from the, it's not his own. He's eating from, from Hashem's table, so to speak. So that's how he dashed and said, not in time of lechem. Rav Omar, that's chaz v'shok, chaz v'shok, chaz v'shok, chaz v'shok, chaz v'shok, chaz v'shok, with you. This man she itcha, when they're with you, only when, in other words, when they're with you, not when they're coming back. In other words, only when you're with you, like you and your, and your sons and your daughters and your wife, etc. Ato bincho v'nosecha is man only with you, not later on when they're coming back after they've been divorced. Amar bara barava tonic she chazeres to beis aviyah chazeres to truma v'ne chazeres to chaz v'shok. Like we just said, that when she goes back, she goes back for for truma v'nach chaz v'shok, right? Bishvil b'no. So she chazeres to beis aviyah chazeres to truma v'ne chazeres to chaz v'shok. Bishvil b'no. But let's say she goes back and eating truma not because she's a bas going going back to her father's house. But she's a Bas Israel who, as we said, was once married to a Kohen, and she has a child who's a Kohen. Oh, but then she got married to a lady, she couldn't eat Tumor. Then she was married to Israel, couldn't eat uh, mice anymore. Then they all died. But it was one, there's one survivor, the son is a Kohen. She can eat, she can eat now Tumor again because of him. There she can even eat Chaz Meshok. It's a big finish, right? I'm about a ton of Chi Chazeras, the base of the Chazeras, the Tumor, and Chazeras of Meshok. Bishfil Bena, but for her son, Chazeras, after Chaz Meshok. Also, Rav Mordechai, Amr Shmaiy, the Kamer Rashi, he said this poor Rashi. Amr, how do you know? How do you know that if she has a son who's a Kohen, she can go back and eat Chumah because of him, even though she couldn't eat Chumah for a while before? Because it says not only Ubas Kohen Kisi Amr Shmaiy, it says Ubas. The whole word is actually teaching me that too. So Mia Dikma, is he any better than than her than the Bas Kohen herself? The answer is Hasam Sidni. There's a Mia. There's a Mia. We said it says here all these Mia. Even though he said Lechem Avia Tochal. Uh, all these mutants we're talking about, excluding the Bas Kohen from eating Chaz Meshok. But there's no meat for this son. In other words, Ubas teaches me that when it comes to going back and eating Truma, she, that, uh, just like she can go back and eat, if she's a Bas Kohen, she can go back and eat Truma in her father's house when there's no children. When she has a son who's a Kohen, eats because of him. Also, she can go back and eat Truma because of the son. But the meat of saying that she doesn't eat the Chaz Meshok is only going on the Bas Kohen, not on the uh, a not on the Bas Israel who has a son who's a Kohen and she's eating because of him. She can eat also, she can eat the Truman, she can also eat because of a show. All right, we're uh, somewhat into tomorrow's stuff. Tomorrow's Thursday, short day, and so long down the line. Have a good day, everybody. So, Kohen can eat Truma. Yes. But she can't eat it. She can't eat it yet. Yes, correct. Correct.